Um, it, it always still surprises me when I, when I, when I look at nursing care plans um, on, on hospital wards in hospitals all over Europe and there's no connection at all between the, the risk assessment that the nurse has carried out and the care plan. So regardless of whether the risk is low of the patient falling or, develop, or, or developing a pressure sore or whether the risk is high, the care plan is the same. I don't understand that connection. And often, with this degree of automation, we can ensure that patients get the right care and we iron out that variation, which is often down to the inter interpretation of the individual nurse. Many of you will be aware that these systems are quite sophisticated and if the risk assessment suggests that the risk is high of the patient developing a pressure sore, the system will actually order that special mattress and that diet dietetic assessment and all the other things that we associate with a care plan for a patient who is at high risk of developing a pressure sore. We don't need nurses to think about that type of decision any longer. The system will do it for us. But at stage six, we do expect um, some really strong examples of how clinical decision support is increasing patient safety. It stops the doctor ordering potassium when the patient is hyperkalemic. It stops the MRI scan getting ordered when the patient has an implantable device or has had metalwork um, implanted in bone. Um, a stage seven hospital, interesting. Um, we look for data-driven organizations, um, hospitals that use advanced analytics to do many of the things that we've just been talking about. And interestingly, um, the, the, we, we, we only have four stage 7 hospitals in Europe. One of them is in Spain. And that particular hospital has used advanced analytics to warn doctors when patients are developing sepsis. It's picked up the vital signs. It's picked up pathology data. And using a very clever algorithm has, has created an early warning system that lets doctors know that patients might become septic. That hospital used that particular case study in its stage seven validation. And regardless of the amount of money it saved, the amount of lives that that process saved was astonishing.